Amargosaurus is a genus of dikiosaurid sauropod dinosaur from the early Cretaceous period of what is now South America. It was small for a sauropod, reaching 10 meters length. It would have been a quadrupedal herbivore with a long, low skull on the end of a long neck, much like its relative Dicryosaurus. However, this dinosaur sported two parallel rows of tall spines down its neck and back, taller than in any other known sauropod. These spines have been reconstructed supporting skin cells, but the skin cell hypothesis was rejected by Gregory S. Paul in 2000. It was found at the La Marga Arroyo in Nicua Copyright N Province, Argentina. Description Amargosaurus was small for a sauropod, measuring 9 to 10 meters in length and weighing approximately 2.6 tons. It moved on four legs and probably was unable to rear on its hind legs. The neck of Amargosaurus, measuring 2.4 meters in length, was proportionally short for sauropod standards. It consisted of 13 cervical vertebrae which were a pistocoelus, forming ball and socket joints with neighboring vertebrae. The trunk was made out of nine dorsal and probably five fused sacral vertebrae. While the foremost dorsals were a pistocoelus, the remaining dorsals were amphiplatean. Robust transverse processes indicate a strong developed ribcage. The dorsal vertebrae of Amargosaurus and other dikiosaurids lack pleura coles, the deep lateral excavations that were characteristic for other sauropods. The most obvious feature of the Amargosaurus skeleton were the extremely tall, upwardly projecting neural spines on the neck and foremost back vertebrae. The neural spines were bifurcated along their entire length, forming a double row. They were circular in cross-section and tapered towards their tips. The tallest spines could be found on the middle part of the neck, where they reached 60 cm on the 8th cervical. On the neck, they were bowed backwards, projecting above the adjacent vertebra. Greatly elongated spines continue along the last two dorsal vertebrae, the hip and foremost tail. However, in these regions the spines were not bifurcated but fled into a paddle-shaped upper end. The skull is only incompletely preserved a euro a euro however, it likely had a horse-like, broad snout equipped with pencil-like teeth, based on related sauropods for which more complete skulls are known. As in other dikiosaurids, the external nares were situated in the posterior half of the skull, diagonally above the eye sockets, which were proportionally large. Additional could be found surrounding the eye sockets, the infratemporal fenestrae located below the eye sockets, were long and narrow. Behind the eye sockets were the supratemporal fenitrae, which, in dikiosaurids, were uniquely small and directed laterally. In front of the eyes would have been the antorbital fenestra, although this region is not preserved. Small openings, called parietal openings or fontanels, can be seen on the backside of the skull. In other tetrapods, these openings are usually seen only in juveniles and they close as the individual grows. Discovery and Species The name Amargosaurus was coined in 1991 by Argentine paleontologists Leonardo Salgado and Joseph Copyright Bonaparte, because its fossil remains were found alongside the La Marga Arroyo in the Nicua Copyright N province of Argentina. La Marga is also the name of a nearby town, as well as the geologic formation the remains were recovered from. The word amarga itself is Spanish for bitter, while sauros is Greek for lizard. The one named species is named in honor of the man who discovered the site, Dr. Louis Cazé, a geologist with the YPF Oil Company, which at the time was state-owned. This site is located in the lower sections of the La Marga Formation, which dates to the Baremian through early Aptian stages of the early Cretaceous period, or around 130 to 120 million years ago. Paleobiology, Amargosaurus is known from a relatively complete skeleton from a single individual. This skeleton includes the back of the skull, and all vertebrae of the neck, back, and hips, as well as a bit of the tail. The right side of the shoulder girdle is also known, as of a left forelimb and hind limb, and the left ilium, a bone of the pelvis. Vertebral spines. The spines may have supported a pair of tall skin sails. Similar sails are seen in the unrelated dinosaurs Spinosaurus and Oranosaurus, as well as the Pelicosaurs Dimetrodon and Edaphosaurus. 
there are a variety of hypotheses for the function of these such sails, including defense, communication, or temperature regulation. Gregory Paul argued that parallel neck sails would have reduced neck flexion. Instead, he proposed that, with their circular rather than flat cross sections, these spines were more likely covered with a horny sheath. He even suggests that they could have been clattered together for a sound display. Similar spines are found on the presacral vertebrae of Dicryosaurus from Africa, although not nearly as tall. Classification Amargosaurus and Dicryosaurus are united with the more recently discovered Brachytrachylopin in the family Dicryosauridae. Dicryosaurids and Diplodocids sauropods are included in a group called Flagellicordata. References External links English translation of original description PDF at the Polyglot Paleontologist